Greetings, everyone, and welcome back. I'm glad you joined Michelle and I. Hello, people. We're looking at a new site in the northern latitudes of Mars this time. Very rare to find anomalies in the northern latitudes of Mars. This is at a site west of Tanaeus or Tanaeus in a region called Tempe Terra. The original photograph is called Dune Monitoring and it was acquired by Highrise on the 31st of December 2021 at 30.8 centimeters per pixel resolution. The images I'll be showing you are cropped from a JP2 black and white map projected file. 615 megabytes in size. And there's a look at the low res black and white. And the anomalies are some of these white specks that are littered across this area. So on Google Earth Mars we have Tanaeus of here to the right. And the site we'll be looking at is right there folks. And at the time of this video the high-rise team hadn't loaded this photograph to Google Earth Mars yet. So that site's located at roughly 49 degrees, 17 minutes north, 73 degrees, 2 minutes west. First category of anomalies is the strange megalithic blocks or slabs with the small parts or objects in their centers. We're looking at the one right there in the middle of this image, folks. It's about 8 meters across. If we take a close-up look, we can check out the geometry and symmetry in this block. Right there in its center, it looks like a dome or a sphere either mounted to it or lying on the top. Could it be a hatch of a blockhouse? Who knows, folks? This area of Mars, they speculate, was under the ocean at some point as well. Could the objects we'll be looking at have fallen off ships sank to the bottom of the surface and we seeing whatever cargo was dropped or did the ocean evaporate away and were these structures built later it's a question we can't answer for now check out the block over there about the same size and shape it also has it looks like an object right there in its center or could that there be a hole where the lid has been removed. In the next category we're looking at rectangular blocks. This one's about 12 meters long and as usual we have the small protrusion or knob on the top. In this case it's roughly on the left hand side and it's so with this one as well. Also the same size and shape and we have either a dark spot, a hole, or a smaller object to the left hand side. Then we're looking at that block there guys, about 10 to 12 meters long. And it seems to have a slot running across the surface, parallel with the two edges. Looks like something might be lying over the slot, sort of diagonally across this block. We're looking at this very strange item. You can see two of the sides visible. Looks like there's a slight bevel on that one with a partial dome like protrusion on that one side. And then on this side, we also have a slightly raised area. Also, like a flattened dome or a sphere as well. Check out this block, also has what looks like a small protrusion there on the side. Or could this be an oval shaped raised area on top of the block. I like the 90 degree angle to that piece as well. Check out this block, seems to have a slot or bevel on the one side right angles as well. Most of these blocks look manufactured. Check out this piece. Also in the shape of a block. Seems to have a slot on the one side as well. Look at the right angles to it. Another rectangular block folks. 
they just keep coming. It's amazing. Check this out. Uniformity in the widths of these sides. This one's got a slight raised part on the left hand side. Almost like this piece has been carved away. This face. And then this, I don't know what to make of it guys. It looks like a toilet. Check this out. Got like a bowl over here. I don't know. Very, very odd piece. But it looks totally out of place as well. And then this, a block with a slot running across the one side. Could that there be like an opening? Could these have been containers that fell off huge cargo ships? In the past I showed you that huge cargo ship type anomaly my friend Saturn Ark found. About 300 meters in length, or was it a kilometer long? I can't remember, but it's huge. And then that toppled over boat, or I speculate might be a toppled over boat. So that's in one of my older videos. We're looking at that item right there in the middle of the image, guys. The very bright, smooth surface. Good luck, a rounded design. And then a raised area there on the top. Looks like this might have been part of that structure or object, who knows. And then this rather odd piece. Got one, two, three, four, five, six sides to it. So very symmetrical. With the raised part right there at the apex towards the right. We get to these strange parts. This is in a very, very dark area on the photograph. The right angles to this object. And then a raised part on the top. Same over here. Looks like it's been eroded away, cracked, but also the small protrusion in the center. We're looking at that object to the left. It's also got a small part right there in its center. And another very bright rectangular part there with what looks like a hole in its center. Strange block the raised object on its one side. Check this out. 90 degree angles, parallel edges uniformity in the thickness of that block could this be part of it looks like the same type of material this is a very bright and then this rather odd part it's about 8 to 10 meters long got like a horseshoe shape to it or V shape and then this part coming out of the center of this one side is it mounted to it somehow seems to be attached to this piece that extends to the right another oddball over there guys so got a rounded shape to it uniformity in the thickness as well and then this looks like it could have a slot or an opening in it got like a disc shape partially embedded in the sand rather odd as well another one of these don't know what to call it type anomalies looks almost metallic like sheet metal 
very bright and it's also symmetrical check out the angles over here very similar to one another as well another potential wreckage part check this looks like ripped sheet metal bent up and these dark spots on it so rather strange very bright over here to the left and then odds and ends over here to the bottom center of this image looks like wreckage or debris and then for fun I thought I'd include this one check out the pattern these dunes form around this rather strange track or it looks like a track it's got like symmetry and geometry to it two dark arcs potentially three look at the width of these narrow parts it's almost like it was designed not like the dunes around it it's a very strange anomaly I thought I'd throw it in there for fun okay let's shoot off to the northern mid latitudes of Mars to Tempe Terra we have Tenaeus located right here folks an area distinguished by its brightness or darkness the site we looked at is right there let's have a look at those anomalies I featured briefly it's quite an extensive list And then for good measure, let's check out some of the other anomalies at sites close by. This is where I found that huge disk. It's about 15 meters in diameter. And in its center, right there on top, we've got a raised part as well. Follows the same pattern as that arc. Wreckage. Debris of some kind. This part rounded yeah and then a right angle on the left and then lots of odds and ends with these blocks with smaller parts in the centers oh, one of those rounded parts with a right angle there on the left it's like a disc part embedded in that object And this is rather unusual. The patterns that these smaller protrusions form. The row of here, similar sized protrusions spaced equally apart. We've got that on this item as well. It's almost like a type of a grid. smaller objects arranged in a row there as well I've seen lots of these that form triangles or three in a row it's almost like old obelisks there as well looks almost like an alien face the eyes there chin not that that is folks just checks out like one two similar discs another one of these strange L-shaped blocks very similar to the one I featured in the main presentation Another one of those discs with a raised part in its center. 
This is odd. Looks like a diamond or gemstone mounted between two pincer like claws. Looks like a claw. I don't know what that could be, but the block is about 8 by 8 meters in size. There's another block. Check that out, guys. Two blocks running diagonally across this one. And that we see often on Mars as well. We've got a smaller, longer, narrow block running diagonally across a larger one. It's almost like a giant spoon. We've got a dish type anomaly about 8 meters across. This looks like an air conditioning or engine port. Highly mechanical looking port. we got like two rounded parts like skirting with two blocks on the inside and there's a small donut shaped part on top of that one there's another triangle depicted on that piece similar Designs here, two large parts and a smaller object bridging the gap. There's three of them there, almost similar. Total carnage and devastation. On Mars. That concludes this one. Thank you for watching. Take care, everybody. Michelle and I will see you in the next one real soon. Cheers for now.